All right, Shalom. Yahweh Bashim Hashem Brakata. All right, call Halolim La. Yahweh Bashim Hashem Bashim Rakhak Wadash. All right, Barakatam to you, brothers and sisters out there. You Akin Wa Agwathium. All right, pushing this truth. All right, hearkening unto the truth with all righteousness and sincerity. I'm going to just make this video real quick. Uh, so today's Sunday, and um, I'm going to do a little bit of food prep. So uh, what I like to do throughout the week is make a smoothie, all right? It usually lasts me about four days, okay? However, you know, long or fast, I take to finish it. Long or fast, I take to finish it and things of that nature. So uh, what I what I do is I make a... um. I make a, I guess it wouldn't be green. It would be more like a like a red smoothie. But I put a lot of greens in here and I put beet powder in here, okay? And all of what I put in here is ginger, garlic, all right, if you can see it at the bottom. Ginger, garlic, I got some frozen cucumbers in there. I got some frozen lemon in there. You want to put the frozen things at the bottom if you got a blender, okay? Or um, if you're really unsure about using a blender, you could let it sit out for a while and let it get a little bit softer. I don't really care too much for that because um, it really just goes back to skill, all right, on uh, blending, all right? And um, I got a little bit of frozen lemon. I got some celery in there. I got some, uh, I got I got a spring mix in there, all right? All the things that come with the spring mix. And I topped it off with some beet powder, like a scoop and a half of beet powder, okay? What I also like to uh, add to the smoothie is I usually use... I usually use regular spring water, but this week I'm going to use some uh, some coconut water. I already had this open, so I'm basically just going to pour. Well, I'm just going to use the rest of this coconut water in here. And um, yeah, that's 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 pretty much it. And I'll just blend that all up. And the reason why I like making smoothies out of the greens is because, honestly, I feel like it takes up too much time just kind of prepping a whole salad unless I got a day off. All right, so making a salad into a smoothie is, is is just a whole lot easier. You get to pack more into it, okay? And I usually um put everything in this big pitcher right here. Like I said, it lasts me about three to four days. It depends on how fast or how slow I drink it. And um, I just put it in here, and I just let that sit in the fridge, okay? So right now, I'm just going to go ahead. And pour this coconut water in here. All right, coconut water has um 45 calories a serving, but I'm not worried about uh, calories too much because you really need those and things of that nature. Um, but coconut water, and I like this brand in particular, Vita Coco coconut water. Okay, and this is the uh this is the organic one too. Our right, farmers organic. All right, so total fat. All right, you want to watch out for those fats. All right, I talked about this in a previous video. You want to watch out for those fats. All right, so it has zero grams of fat because it's, it's it's water. All right, so they took all the they removed all the fats from it. All right, it has zero saturated fat, zero trans fat, zero cholesterol, of course. Sodium is thirty five micrograms. Total carbs eleven grams. All right, you want you want to get your carbs in. All right, dietary fiber zero, but and that's okay because all the fiber is what it's in the greens and the fruits that I put in here, so I'm not worried about fiber. All right. All right, so this is the first part of the smoothie, okay, because I add a lot of stuff to these things. I add a lot of stuff, uh, stuff to it, and it's one of those things where just like, you could really add whatever you want to it. You could add whatever you want, and like I said, the reason why I like doing this is because it's way easier than, you know, prepping a whole salad and, you know, so on and so forth, and I could just drink this throughout the week and get my nutrients. Um, I meant to show it earlier, but you got the organic spring mix right here, Okay. Um, as much as you can help it, as much as you can help it, um, you know, you want to get organic products again, as much as you can help it. Okay. And once again, like I'm, I'm pretty much vegan now. All right. And until I feel like it's safe to start eating meat again and things of that nature, I'm just trying to get my health in order. Okay. So that's why I've been, you know, I've been drinking these smoothies pretty much every, well, really every week, you know, every week I drink these smoothies and when I run out, I'll just get some fruit. I'll just, you know, buy some more spring mix and I'll just do it again. All right, because you want to keep these nutrients coming into your body, okay? So, that's the consistency. That's the mix of it. Like I said, this is the first batch right here. And um, I got a little bit more going in there. All right, so with this batch, 
All right, because I'm going to pour it into the same pitcher. All right, all of, like I said, all of this is getting mixed in. Okay, so with this batch, I got some frozen berries. Okay, I got a berry medley. Okay, you brothers, if you like, especially you brothers and sisters that like making smoothies like myself. I love smoothies. Um, You want to get you some frozen berries from your, your local supermarket. Okay, um, I got some frozen apples that I, I bought and cut up myself and froze them. All right, so I got some frozen apples in there. Um, preferably the Granny Smith apples, the nice green ones. I like those on um, myself. And then I put a little bit more spring mix on top. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pour some more coconut water in this and blend it up nice and good. All right, so just keep filling that up, filling that up. And, you know, to your discretion, I'll say this too, like if you want it more thick and chunky, all right, because I don't mind it either way, thick and chunky or um, whatchamacallit, or like smoother. All right, I, I, pers cause I personally don't like to like juice things. I want all the nutrients. So if there's like some, you know, um, pulp, if you will, in there, then all the better, you know, because I feel like I'm getting all my nutrients and things of that nature. All right. You also want to get you some of these total beets. All right. So this is beet powder right here. And this is also mixed with um, pomegranate. OK, so I'm going to take another about scoop and a half. And I'm going to put in it, uh, put it in there. All right. And then that's going to be it for that. All right. So I poured the second batch in. This is going to be the third and final batch. All right. So um, I just ran out of coconut water. So I'm just going to use some Poland spring. All right. You want to get in the habit of using uh, spring water over the, you know, the regular store brand. All right. Because spring water is, you know, has a better pH balance. I think Poland spring has a pH of, I think, like six or seven which is really where you want to be, okay? So you want to, you know, have some uh, spring water, all right? So it's a little, it's between acidic and alkaline, okay? So like I said, the only thing in there is just the spring mix, and that's going to be, you know, the, that's really going to do it for the smoothie. So I'm going to just pour a little bit of Poland spring in here, and then I'm going to pour it in the rest of this, you know, to just finish it off. And that's just going to be my, um, well, one of my meal prep items for the work week, all right? So, um... And when you look up all of these things that I mentioned, all right, this is good for, you know, your brothers and sisters who's trying to improve your blood flow, okay, who's trying to, you know, um, lose weight, okay, burn fat, all right, for your brothers and sisters that may have, you know what I'm saying, like visceral fat, all right, and if you don't know what that is, that's the fat around your organs, okay, so everything in the smoothie that I poured in here, all right, this, this you know, little crazy behind mix that I made, all of these things are going to help burn the fat on your organs okay but it will not work okay it will not work if you continue to eat you know what i'm saying a whole lot of meat and you know or anything with cholesterol which is essentially animal products okay a whole lot of sugary salty and oily foods it's not this is not going to work this is not going to work in your favor if you continue to eat like trash okay so you know like i said i mean i, I know i said earlier i'm vegan until it's safe to eat meat again to be honest with you, nothing is ever really safe to eat because we live in this wicked society. We live in this captivity. All right. Just read Ezekiel 4 and 13. OK, but what I meant to say is like I'm omnivore. I just I'm doing I'm just doing a whole plant based thing right now. And I'm doing these videos to, you know, kind of try to help brothers and sisters adapt to a plant based life. If 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 that's a part of your goals. OK, I am. Um, I'm dealing with, you know, high cholesterol, high blood pressure right now myself. And so that's why I decided to hop on this whole you know, vegan, whole food, plant-based, you know, um, uh, diet, if you want to call it that, or lifestyle rather, and things of that nature, because, you know, I'm trying to fix my own issues. Okay. So, um, that's like I said, why I make these videos. So, um, that's going to be it for the, for the, for the smoothie. Um, like I said, get yourself a big picture, but just put whatever you want in it, you know, as far as like fruits, vegetables and things of that nature. Like I said, I like putting a spring mix in here because it's just easier to drink than to eat. And um, again, you still get all of your nutrients. You still get all of your nutrients. But with that being said, Shalom.